The 8th Resuscitative Surgical Detachment team end their week-long stint tomorrow and a joint press conference was hosted to thank the team for the time and resources invested at the Port Moresby General Hospital. Addressing the gathering, U.S. Embassy Chargé d'Affaires Catherine Monaghan expressed the dedication of the United States to its partnership with Papua New Guinea, emphasizing the importance of mutual learning and collaboration in addressing healthcare challenges. Just really a great example of our partnership and the U.S. is absolutely dedicated to the people of Papua New Guinea to learn together, to train together, to face really hard things together and get through it, to save lives. Um, this is what humanity is and this is what we can do. I also want to mention that the de defense cooperation agreement that we signed not too long ago is really something that facilitates this kind of work. It's something that has provisions in it to allow doctors licensing to be recognized so that we can do things here that Papua New Guinea asked for together without having to go through so many layers of approval on both sides. PMGH CEO Dr. Paki Molumi shed light on the challenges faced by PMGH, emphasizing the shortage of medical personnel and resources. He detailed plans for a temporary trauma center to address the high volume of trauma cases, expressing gratitude for the support from the U.S. medical team. So it's a big load that we carry uh, at this hospital, and uh, uh, our resource constraint is very big. Uh, we are expected to provide the higher of the care, specialty services, so that we stop our Papua New Guineans going to Singapore, Australia, Philippines. So with this uh, team, uh, the U.S. Uh, team coming on board, who are more specialized in uh, managing trauma, is an added, added uh, benefit for us. Lieutenant Colonel Andrew Galdi, the commander of the 8th FRSD, outlined the team's efforts in establishing trauma and surgical rotations at Port Mosby General Hospital. He announced 25,000 US dollars donation to increase medical capacity, recognizing the mutual benefit of the partnership for both nations. And so what we're doing is I have 10 personnel here and I've split them to work in your emergency department, the ICU and the operating theater uh, at, here at uh, Port Moresby General Hospital. Um, and so the goal was to establish a, a trauma slash surgical uh, rotation. Um, and more importantly, uh, establish a partnership. Um, I know uh, that my team will learn uh, a lot from every one of the medical providers here. The collaboration is expected to have a lasting impact on healthcare services at the Port Mosby General Hospital and beyond.